Hello again, today is day 9 of VEDA, April 9th, and I'm going to try to keep it a little shorter today for a few reasons. Reason 1, I said I would, and I don't want to lie, because lying's bad. Reason 2, it's a beautiful day outside, I wish I... Okay, I guess that light finally burnt out for good. It's kind of been broken for a while, but you could plug it in at least and have it turn on, and it was weird, but... Anyways, as I was saying, today is a beautiful day outside, and the only reason I'm not doing this vlog from out there is that I don't have a place to set up a camera. So needless to say, I kind of want to get out today. You're a strange light. I should just replace you. Okay, looking into that light was not a good idea. Keep that in mind. I thought I had a third reason. Um... Whatever, if it comes to me, I'll tell you, but uh, otherwise, don't worry about it. Point being, my videos have been like five to six minutes long, and I'd rather get them down to like three to four, just so they're less drawn out and boring. So, in the spirit of that, I guess I should move on. Yesterday, I started reading Looking for Alaska in Your Pants by John Green. As a random side note, my favorite book title for that purpose is Running with Scissors in Your Pants. I'd been meaning to read his books for a while, like, since I found out he was an author, because, well, it's kind of one of the things that it feels like you should do if you want to call yourself a nerdfire. Anyways, I'm only about halfway done because I started, like, really late at night and I was tired and I wanted to go to bed and I wasn't, like, paying attention to the book anymore and that's never good, so I just called it. So far, I don't really have that much of an opinion on it. Like, I like it, and it's an interesting read so far, but I feel like not a whole lot has happened, so I can't really speak to that too much. Anyways, what did stand out to me was that since page one, all the narrative I've heard read in John Green's voice. <laughs> yeah? Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up real quick, because, um, uh, I'll tell you in a minute. Alright, so, uh, what I was gonna say, I think, was, um, Hmm. I've read other books, too, whose authors I've heard speak, like David Sedaris. Um, he's probably still my favorite author. Uh, when I read his n memoirs, I had already heard him speaking, so I read the entire thing in his voice. And same with the Harry Potter books. Like, we got the book on tape for book f five, I think. And the rest of them, whenever I read them, they were in his British accent. Anyways, my mom just knocked at the door and told me what my graduation present was. I'm going to VidCon! Now, I'd been kind of looking at it and thinking, oh, that would be awesome for a while now, but I didn't really want to ask about it. So, uh, I didn't. I mean, VidCon's on the other side of the country, and I didn't really expect my parents to go for it. Um, my dad especially, and also we've kind of been tight on the finances, so I didn't really expect that to happen. So yeah, this was totally out of the blue for me, um, god, I'm excited. <laughs> Anyways, let me know if you're going, I would love to meet some of you, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm so excited. Um, I'm sure I had more to say, but, uh, whatever, I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow if I think of it. Um, so yeah, see you then. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the third reason why I wanted to keep these videos a little shorter. Um, the last few videos I've invariably omitted something in editing. Uh, nothing big, it's just a line here or there, but I kind of wish I hadn't, so... Anyway, see you tomorrow.